take a look at these. These are our strictly inspired glitter ball planters. Now, not only are they really snazzy, they are planters that you can put really cool fancy plants in, or you can make a little home for your teddy bears. So they are multi-use and they couldn't be any easier to make. So first we're gonna start off with some balloons and try to blow this up. Okay. <laughs> oh! We're gonna, we're gonna go again. No one saw that. <laughs> okay, I want my glitter ball to be around this big, so we're gonna try and tie it up. This is a scary part for me, but you guys are gonna be so much better than me. Ah, success. So what we're gonna do is gonna grab a cup or a little mug so we can pop our balloon in there so it's a nice sturdy base. Next, we're gonna move on to our gloopy glue. This is three parts flour and two parts water. And we've got some cut up newspaper and I'm gonna grab some glue, pop it on the balloon. and start doing some old school paper mache. Grab your newspaper bit, pop it on top of the glue and then paste it down. Seal it all in nice and tight with some more glue. And guys, we just keep on going at this, quite like this bit. Very messy. Repeat this step multiple times until the balloon is covered with newspaper from the top of the balloon to about three quarters of the way down. Once the layer of newspaper is completely dry, repeat the step two more times to make sure your mirror ball is as sturdy as can be. It might take a while for your newspaper to dry down, so top tip, you can maybe use a hairdryer with the help of a grown-up to speed up the process. <laughs> now our balloon is fully dry, hear that? solid stuff. It's time to paint. So we're going to grab some black paint. This is going to be the perfect base for us to stick on our shiny, shiny pieces onto. Now remember that there's still a balloon under there, so we've got to be gentle. Gentle paint strokes. Now that our planter is nice and dry, it's time for the noisy bit. We're going to be popping the balloon, OK? Three, two, one. Ah! Ah! Got that. Nice and easy. OK, perfect. We can get rid of our mug. We've got our perfect base. Now it's time to make it nice and shiny. And to do so, all we've got are sweet and crisp packets. And we've just cut them up. So you're recycling things to make that shiny effect. I'm going to stick them on. You can use double-sided tape. You can use glue. And you've even got a cheeky snack whilst you're doing it. Once your glitter ball is completely bedazzled, I mean, look at that, she's gorgeous already. It's time for the final steps. So we're going to be popping our glitter ball over and we're going to be making three holes at the very top of our glitter ball so that we can put some string through and hang it. So I've got some string here. I'm just going to pop it through this hole that I have here. Top tip, by the way, guys, if you're finding it a bit fiddly to pop that string through the glitter ball, pop some sellotape tape on the end and you can really pierce it through. Give it a little knot. <gasps> and there we have it, guys, your very own strictly inspired glitter ball planter. It's a 10 from me.